Hello and welcome to another unboxing on my channel. Today with my yeah second experience with Weisschwarz Blau. Uh, this time with Singai. And the art style looks just amazing. I have to admit I don't know a lot about the uh, this artist. It's from the music artist Eve. And I, I took a quick look into some of the songs and it sounds great and the, the visuals look amazing. I love the art style. And yeah, I picked these up or oh, months ago, like this is not a new release. It probably has released ne uh, last year. Don't remember when it has released, but yeah, I just had to get it. Oh, there's also a promo bag. That's great. Yeah, the art style is so unique. And uh, since I'm I'm not really much of a card player, I, I did start to play V Cross and looked into some other TCGs, but I'm really mostly a collector of art so let's appreciate these this is a non-foil with a gold stamped uh, roses okay yeah the, the art style has something really it's something really unique to it it looks so cool yeah <laughs> There, there's some great art you can. This looks like a poster or something. This is something that I, I really miss with the TCGs that are more focused on on playing. I don't, I, I don't know if these art plots or if these artworks are from music videos, uh, because it looks like there is. Some kind of storytelling in it or maybe I just want to put some meaning into it. Yeah, that looks so cool. Sadly I can't not really tell you a lot about the about the background. But maybe if, if you are more familiar with Eve or with the characters, uh, let me know in the comments or Give me some tips where I should look. Yeah, these these artworks could also be from a creepy children's book style. Gives me some. Uh, was it Promised Neverland vibes? This one in color. And probably the, the rare card is in the promo pack. But I don't know if this is like exclusive to Weisschwarz Blau because in the past the the special card was always in the regular deck. So maybe there is a foil in here or no foil at all. Oh, no foil for us. Oh, there is like a like a gold stamped frame card. So this was probably the hit, the BR rarity. I guess it, it's more on the lower side from my from my Detective Conan box. The the BR or the BRs were very cheap. Uh, also the BR I, I pulled from my box, so guess this is the, the lowest of the higher rarities. Yeah, this this creepy artwork style and this this artwork which tells some kind of story it feels like. I really like it. <laughs> I really find joy in just looking at cards more more than just in building decks and thinking about strategies. I'm more of a art enjoyer. And this is the first, what's the rarity? It's a double rare. As some kind of confetti foiling. Uh, this is stuck in the washing machine. The the black and or it's not really black and white since the character has some kind of grayish 
blue looking hair, but these are probably my one of my favorites of the artworks, even if they are uh, horizontal. But what's this? Merry Christmas, and there are kitties in the bag. It's so cute. It's the BR. Maybe this is already the, the hit of the box. I don't know. There are kitties on my card. I love it. Betty. Sometimes it gives me also a little bit of uh, Tokyo Ghoul vibes. I don't know. The, the creepy and horror style looking artworks. And the manga style of, yeah, of Tokyo Ghoul. Amazing. Maybe I should sometimes check the back of the cards too, since they are double-sided. And uh, we get another double rare. And we get an egg. Tamago. Tamago. Oh, was Tamago the name for egg in Japanese? I don't don't remember. And the rare card. There's also the bag. Yeah, let, please let me know in the comments what do you think about uh, the art style and if you maybe you you have listened to Eve's music and you are more, a little bit more deep into the the story of the characters and the, the background. Another PR. Like ripping himself apart. Oh, and this is uh, such a joyful art style in opposition to the dark horrors. Like a, a school bus. Another rare foil. Uh, last, last dance. I don't know, something about this, this depressing kind of look sometimes makes my, my emo heart happy. A rare. Three more packs. Okay. And another cat and Tamago in the back. Uh, this uh, kid in the washing machine again. Cool picture. And sadly, there are a lot of horizontal cards or the artworks that I. I enjoy the most like these black and white ones they tend to be always horizontal unfortunately if if you know my channel or me i i usually try to avoid horizontal cards or yeah i like these vertical ones more and we get another br black and gold Uh, the, the special side is always the horizontal. You can turn it on the other side and then it's regular, but there's no foil treatment or no gold stamping. And this gives me like uh, Pochita vibes from Chainsaw Man. This could be like from, yeah, from Chainsaw Man. But yeah, unfortunately, it's just BR rarity cards for us uh, from this box. No higher for there, there are like gold i don't know if there are signatures but there are some higher rarities but yeah thank you for watching and for for commenting if you uh find joy in this 
in this set or artwork too. Leave me a comment and yeah, see you in my next unboxing. Bye.